distinguished delegates, the security of participants is a top priority for all virtual conferences, especially in cooperation with United Nations. We have that at the, um, at the UN conference centers or at the UN campus in Bonn, but uh, it has to be ensured for the ro local and regional meeting points. The problem at the moment is that for this local and regional meeting point, there is no safety regulations in the framework of uh, United Nations because this type of conference is new. Now we want to highlight um, the challenges of these local and regional meeting points uh, in the context of the security. So looking on the uh, local and regional meeting points, uh, there might be in one area in India, for example, a regional meeting point uh, or local meeting point with, with four people. And there might be in El Salvador uh, a regional meeting point with three people. And there might be isolated participants that don't have uh, the opportunity of local face-to-face -face communication. But anyway, they can join uh, via the conference servers, uh, via flash meeting, open meeting, video conferencing systems, forum or video playback. You can join the conference and provide feedback and questions to the, to the presenter. So what are the minimal IT requirements or what are the recommendations for establishing a local or regional meeting point? Um, first of all, it is recommended that you have a one laptop or PC with a webcam and one data projector for playback of the presentations and following the video conferences in flash meeting or open meeting. If you have a group of people uh, at your local or regional meeting point, uh, then it might be uh, reasonable or it is recommended to have one additional laptop with webcam for asking questions, provide feedback and comments, which will be used for all of the people that, that join the uh, video conference at your local meeting point or regional meeting point. Beside the IT requirements which are essential to participate in a virtual meeting, the security requirements build on that um, so that the, you have a secure environment during night time and a place to sleep during daytime. Hotels can assure this uh, IT requirements because they have meeting rooms with internet connectivity on the one side. On the other side they will have uh, these uh, rooms and accommodation so that people can sleep during daytime. If this meeting environment or conference facilities or hotels with internet connectivity are not available, then the only solution is to uh, drop the face-to-face um, -face environment at local or regional meeting points and use an isolated network node to, uh, to um, participate at the conference. If we look on the security on uh, different perspective, the security for United Nations in, uh, events uh, should be uh, assured by a host country agreement. This host country agreement is for any uh, United Nations event even in cooperation with the United Nations necessary. United Nations premises uh, have the security infrastructure, for example, United Nations Conference Center in Bangkok or the United Nations campus in Bonn. The host country agreement for United Nations events or events in cooperation with United Nations Office of Outer Space Affairs, just like the Action Team 6 follow-up initiative, will be available for university uh, as well. But the host country agreement will be a longer process and uh, to ensure all the security requirements and other requirements which, is, which are necessary due to uh, United Nations regulations. As mentioned before, the time zone differences create the security problem because then the conference time might be during night time where the security for the participant cannot be fully assured. So if this hotel solution, as mentioned before, with a stable internet connection um, at meeting rooms and a place to sleep during daytime is not available due to kind of financial constraints uh, or other constraints due to travel, traveling to that hotel and so on, then the only op other option is to um, participate at a private home with stable internet connection and the possibility to sleep there. So 
the top priority for the participants is security and we have to drop the face-to-face -face benefit of um, being in a community and uh, participating in a conference for the security so that we might increase the number of isolated participants if the hotel solution for local and regional uh, meeting points are not available for member states. Furthermore, we must be aware that it is nearly impossible to join a virtual conference in your regular office environment. This is the main recommendation for participation in virtual conferences or meetings. There may be so many interruptions that um, stop you from participating at the conference and follow the communication and the discussion. So also in this case the hotel solution might be uh, good because you the people who participate virtually at uh, at the conference at a local or regional meeting point at a hotel are not in the regular office environment and so they can fully participate in the discussions and the um, and the presentations that are presented at the virtual conference. So I hope that this introductional information on security uh, will lead to a discussion which uh, helps us to identify um, the requirements on constraints for local and regional meeting points and improve uh, the establishment of those uh, in the future for the conferences in 2013 and 2014. Looking forward to your suggestions and the discussion at the flash meeting on security and the structure of local and regional meeting points.